Hey guys, well go on, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a Nissan Versa. And yeah, you're gonna be hearing that knocking in the back of the um in the back of the background, but we're here, we're gonna change the fan on the Nissan Versa. If you guys haven't seen my other video where I did it on the note, it's not much difference of doing it on the the full size versa or on the versa note. So let's get into the video and let's get started all right i will leave all the links for the tools in the description so you guys can also order the tools for yourself so the first things we're going to do is go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel help me grow and apart from that 10 millimeter we're going to remove the negative battery cable all right and in the video i will tell you how to check your fan because you just want to check power and grounds down there but i will tell you once once i get the fan out all right so let's get to that part all right so 10 millimeter link will be in the description remove your negative cable on your battery so once you remove this you just want to take remove it and take it off and put it to the side so um so it doesn't get back up and touch the battery so once you get the nut to loosen up the terminal will start move you just take it out just tuck it down there so it stay down there and don't go back up to touch the battery next thing we're going to remove this right here it's also 10 millimeter you can use this same 10 millimeter or you can use a, a ratchet handle with a socket all right so link will be in the description for that also. 10 millimeter. You can lift this up and you can put it back right here so you don't lose that. We have another 10 millimeter right here. So this one is locked down back there. So we're gonna to need to get a pliers or something to hold it. get a pliers to hold that or what you can do you can take it off from right here and leave this just like that go ahead remove that 10 millimeter and then there you go come off so this was what's spinning in there so um just hold it with the pliers and you can go ahead and remove that <coughs> so the next step is to remove this right here so go ahead and squeeze this link will be in the description for the tools to remove these clips some is missing already so somebody removed some of them already so once you remove all these clips are gone here So you want to go ahead and remove this tip right here and this one right here also and that's for your horn your horn and um the next this is the clip puller and it will be in the description also and then we're going to remove all these 10 millimeter that's touching here so we need to remove this part right here so it's going to be 10 millimeter also right here we can go ahead and remove this um this airbag switch right here. this airbag um that airbag uh, um airbag impact sensor right here
10 millimeter drones cable that 10 millimeter also right here Ten millimeter right here. Aerator. Ten millimeter right here. And they are ten millimeter. So now you can see this started to come up. So we need to remove this Phillips screws right here. Get a Phillips screwdriver for that right here. All right, so we're gonna remove this Phillips screw right here. It's actually like a little um, plastic clip, but it's a Phillip type screw. So go ahead and remove that, just like that. That where we can lift this out from under there. Squeeze right here to remove your iron wire. So this is what the switch look like. This is what you squeeze and pull. Same thing on this side, squeeze and pull. Alright, so with that, we have a few clips that's holding the holding some plastic to the upper radiator support. So we're gonna remove those clips also. I have one right here, and we have another one over here. There, so that's give us some more room to wiggle around. The next thing is some clips right here. Being here, we can just unclip them just like that. So, once we unclip those, those fall to the ground, but we can pick them up later. Once we unclip those. We can remove this right here which I think is best I remove it and how you remove it you just put in, this is gonna be in here to remove it so you're gonna lead a 12 a long 12 socket or a short one with a longer extension or a long 12 socket with a short extension and once that's out the way it's going to be 12 millimeter. Go ahead and remove those two 12 millimeter like this. So one on each side. Just put it right there so it doesn't scratch anything. Be mindful of your 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 bolts so they don't fall. So I have one more clip right here that's holding it. that come out it should come up some more so that's that's good so far let's remove these clips right here so we're going to remove these clips right here that then this will come off and go away so once that's out once that's out we will have access to remove the the fan assembly itself now so we're gonna have a 10 millimeter over here and we should have another one right down there 10 millimeter So we're gonna remove the, the we're gonna remove this the reservoir. So we're gonna pull back on this, on this, 
and that way we're gonna have access for that 10 millimeter that's down there and also to unplug it with ease so let's remove this 10 millimeter over here just gonna put this right here so I don't mix it up and remove this 10 millimeter right here fun stop working it will cause your car to overheat so once your car overheat the fan supposed to be going off like crazy so if your car overheats and you come outside your car you saw the gauge go up pass off and you come outside your car and you can't hear the fan going off like crazy then you know your fan not working you can check your fuse or you can check power at the fan motor itself and then you will know if your fan work or not. So once you remove those, you can just unclip these down here. So basically anything that's touching the fan, you wanna just take them off. So this right here, remove that from that slot right there. And over here, you can go ahead and unplug the fan. Here you just unplug the fan like that. Down there, you want to get everything that's touching the fan off. So these transmission cooler wire um, tube, you just want to take them out the grooves that they sit in, cause they will hold the fan down in there. Once that's done, you can go ahead and lift up on it. All right, so done at this side right here. You will have a clip that go right here that you need to unplug from the fan. Then we're gonna try to lift the fan up. So there's a clip on the belt and the holes I should say down there that's also holding the fan so let's go ahead and move that it's better to use a flathead screwdriver just have a curve at the tip and it won't work that well so I removed that clip that's holding the belt and that is not easy so don't expect that to come out easy for you. got the fan out that's our fan right there and you would check for grounds right here and positive grounds for the black wire and positive for the blue wire one is low speed and one is for high speed so if your fan start working you want to check power and grounds at the blue and the black and that's how you know if you're getting power and grounds there you check it while it's in the car while everything is together if you're getting it there and the fan spin and the fan not spinning that means your fans your fan is bad all right so let's get to the new one uh, let me turn off the light so your part number is right there Alright guys, so this is your old fan, it comes with two plugs on it, 
so I guess the new one that I got it come with one plug on it so this is the wrong fan for this car even though it looked like everything looked the same but this is wrong maybe I can just unplug it from here maybe I can unplug it from here and plug this one in and then I will get the function of the switch or you can go ahead and change it to get this one so you don't be bothered with this type all right so basically all I'm saying is double check before you order your parts make sure if your car take a single plug you have a single you order a single plug if your car take a double plug you order a double plug all right so now we have the correct fan as you can see it come with two plugs like the old one so let's go ahead and remove this right here from this side so this is what we're removing i already removed one already make sure you set them the same way as you take them out and this so it leave a link in the description for all these tools so you can have it it's good to have tools since you're gonna start working on your own car so that's good so that's how you snap it in I think this come with something to snap in right here too so let's check the old one to make sure we have that piece so it's different, the old one is the plug itself. So I guess we're gonna use a tie strap or something to keep this from moving. So let's go ahead and install it. Should go on like this. Should go on like this. Let's go down the plug. Gotta be to the right side, down um, to the left side of the vehicle. And once again like comment share and subscribe please forgive me for that knocking nice it's the dent guy all right guys so let's get into it and put this down remember the radiator can always go back and forth so remember you have that space to work with too So guys, we're down in here. We just want to make sure we have everything. We have everything back in the holes that they're supposed to go. So put the line back in those clips and put this clip down here at the bottom, back in that hole right there. And put this one right here and put this down in there like that. That snap down you want to get this holes right here put this right here and I also tighten up these 10 millimeter that hold the fan and also we can go ahead and plug in our can plug in our fan right here got one plugged in already and we're gonna have the second one plugged in So you do that. So I have to use my tool hand for that, but just plug that in. 
And once we plug that in, we're gonna start putting back that metal piece across the top so we can get everything back in order. So guys, we gonna look down here, make sure everything is good because as you see, I put this back and I tighten up, I'll catch all my screws and I tighten up and I also catch these in here and down under there. So everything is looking nice and tight so far. The next thing is for me to add some coolant right here because let me check this also because this one overheat and it pushed out all the coolant so i'm gonna go ahead and top it up i'm gonna top up this top up this and put the battery on and then we're gonna crank the car up and i'm also gonna catch these back put catch the clip box in there all right all right guys so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go ahead and just tighten this back up right here so once we get this tightened up we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and tight um crank the car up so i'm just tightening this up i know a lot of you guys complain oh on the other video that i did oh the car didn't crank up after so let's see what happened now if you do it the way i do it so probably you guys did something different and your car didn't crank up but every time i did this on a car it cranked right up make sure you have your grounds wire connected once that's connected and we just go ahead get in the car and and there you go it cranked right up only thing you have to do is set the radio the clock so you probably will just press set up right there go to clock set time and the time is 4 07 407 i put it 408 because it's about to change so there you go and that's it for that one that's it let's check the fan make sure the fan works the fastest and quickest way to check the fan to make sure the fan work is to turn on your ac turn this on turn that on and that's the fastest way to check the fan and you can see that your fan is working you can hear it and you probably can see it spinning down here so after that, the next step is to cut it off or you can let it run. What I would suggest, let it run, turn the AC off. So you want to turn the AC off. So you want to turn the AC off, right? And make the car run and heat up itself. And once it get hot, you can go ahead and um see if the fan come on by itself and once the fan come on by itself you know you're good check, double check your work make sure everything is on properly it's tight and also like comment share subscribe to the channel all right so let's get back over here just going to remove this 10 millimeter right here and also this one right here and then we're going to put on our, fil our air filter tube which is this thing right here lock that, make that snap in snap that back in, bring that over it like this so that's that, put that right there put this one right here and remember they are 10 millimeter so just let the car heat up and the fan should come on automatically by itself once the car is heat up so that's it for this one guys 
please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel help me grow peace out see you next time